Alright, today I'm going to be doing a usability evaluation on the website baseballreference.com. Uh, the site has a, a lot of data, a lot of stats uh, for baseball, uh, Major League Baseball dating back all the way to the 1800s. Um, a lot of knowledge there. Uh, it just seems there's certain things that make it hard to find uh, what you're looking for. Um, for example, this is the initial page here that we see. It seems a little bit jumbled. I uh, don't know exactly where to go at all times. Um, a little confusing. Uh, one thing I noticed right off the bat is here on the left hand side there appears to be thing, you know, certain categories. Um, box scores for instance. Uh, they've randomly chosen to have 2008-2006 up there. I assume to draw your eye to those just as uh, a random year to choose. Don't quite know why they have it. I thought maybe by you know refreshing they would it would change, but it's always there. A little confusing why it would do that, um, but that's all right. I like the idea, but I think it should probably change. Now, one of the usability tests I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to find the player uh, Don Mattingly. Now, initially. Uh, I'm going to be looking for players. I'm going to click on that, and I'm initially drawn to the large uh, letters here. Last name is Mattingly. We're going to click on M. Uh, then you can see that there's a lot here, so now we got to click on M A. Uh, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, so we eventually find Mr. Mattingly. Hopefully. As you can see, it's a little tricky to find. Go down to Mattingly. Now, the site is—it's much easier to find if you just do a quick search up here at the top. You just type in Don Mattingly, and it'll quickly come up with Don Mattingly. Now, we would have seen this earlier here at the team name if. I happen to have read the uh, this paragraph right here. Now, usually when you're going through a site, you want to just find exactly what you're looking for this kind of generic paragraph. You're probably not going to read. Um, you're just going to move on and try to find the name. So it would have been better if they had a search box probably right around here. Um, that way, you could get to the name much quicker. Um, now, the next thing I'm going to try to do is find the all-time home runs leader at, for a player at the position of second base. Um, we're going to go back to the main page and go from there. Uh, I would assume I would click on leaders right here. And then, I'm not quite sure where to go. If we click on, let's say, home runs for a career, we then see the career home run leaders, but there's nowhere to actually choose a position, we're looking for the uh, the second baseman who has the most career home runs. Um, nowhere to go from here. Now, if we go back to uh, we go back to leaders, and then right here where there's this baseballreference.com play index batting season finder, if we click on that. We're then brought up to this rather large form. Um, you know, again, there's a lot of statistics in this way. It's easier to find, or it gives you the ability to find a wide range of uh, stats. So, you know, we're going to look at this, trying to find the career. Um, looks like right here, every mark, we're going to choose second baseman. Now, again, it, I had the opportunity to play around this for a little while, so it, you know, might be a little trickier if you know if you if it's your first time visiting the site. Um, we're going to choose the stat down here, home runs, results, does its thing, and we're still at home runs, but for a single season, but we want a career. we got to go back and change it to, um, Going to change it to find totals for matching seasons or careers. We do get results, 
and we can see that Jeff Kent at 377 home runs is the all-time leader. Uh, pretty powerful tool, uh, just don't know how to get to it and, all, and it's a little tricky to use. Now uh, if we go back to the main site, which Now the next uh, stat I'm going to find or attempt to find is the player with the all-time highest salary. Um, now it looks like our we want to find that. We may try the we might try the search box and search salaries, which brings up um, some information about the salary information who is provided from but nowhere to go to actually find the salaries so if we go back again and we want to find we might assume that uh, there would be a leader category so we're going to go to uh, leaders right here and scroll down to go down to salary and then we can see the overall career leader in salaries now the next task will be to find uh, the all-time record for let's say the Chicago Cubs and go back again to the main page uh, we'll try the search box which does not yield any hits at all um, so now we're back to going towards the teams uh, and then leaders and for some reason it automatically brings you to the New York Yankees batting leaders um, I don't know why it's doing that I guess to give you sort of a head start on a certain area you might find interesting um, but we're not looking for that so I guess we're gonna go back to the teams and we're gonna scroll down to the Chicago Cubs I'm going to go ahead and click on there right away. Um, there's a reason for that. As you can see, nowhere on here does it show anything about their all-time record. It has the individual season record. The reason why I clicked so, clicked so fast before was uh, to demonstrate what somebody might do. They might immediately click. If we go back to that page, the page I clicked on before, you can see their overall record right here. Now, that's the only place it appears on the site, and you got to make sure you you would have to make sure that you come across that and make note of it otherwise um, it would be pretty tricky to find um, now basically there's many examples of uh, poor usability on the site I find I use the site quite often uh, there's, like I said earlier in the beginning there's a wealth of knowledge to be found on there and I even even though I've used the site plenty of times I still struggle to find certain statistics that I'm interested in and I think that's sort of unnecessary if uh, like I said I have been using the site it seems to be a huge usability problem uh, and it seems to be a pretty re relatively steep learning curve for uh, others especially those that aren't either aren't familiar with uh, statistics in general or specifically ba major league baseball statistics um, but the usability and the overall presentation of the site could be a little more user friendly um, and overall I, it needs to be reorganized and you know just an overall better presentation um, thank you